Welcome to Automotive Territory Daily News. Even though at the moment the sales of electric vehicles account only for a few percent of all cars sold around the world, these numbers are steadily growing. Electrified models are released at a constant rate, and in today's episode we would like to share a lineup of the latest 2019 introductions to the plug-in hybrid family that combines clean and efficient EV nature with the internal combustion extended range. Subscribe to our channel to get more informative automotive content on a daily basis, and let's start the hybrid powertrains. Audi A8 Having undergone a full redesign not so long ago, Audi A8 will be receiving minor updates for the 2019 model here, which will include a plug-in hybrid modification. This business sedan will be brought into motion by a 3.0-liter turbo V6 engine, working in tune with an electric motor, yielding 449 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque. The installed battery is rather small, just 14 kWh, however it is sufficient for 30 miles of electric range and increased fuel economy. Audi A8 is without question one of the most luxurious business sedans on today's market, offering air suspension, all-wheel drive, heated and massaged seats, plus Audi's latest achievements in the autonomy and high-tech. Bentley Bentayga Plug-in Hybrid Though very few owners of Bentleys are really concerned with fuel efficiency of their cars, many of them are probably interested in the electrification of their vehicles. To tend to those drivers' requests and to make a statement about the company's readiness to go green, Bentley has announced the release of the first electrified car model Bentayga PHEV. It is rumored that this SUV will receive a smaller-than-usual 3.0-liter V6 engine paired with an electric motor and will have seven driving modes, three of which are model-specific – EV Drive, Hybrid and Halt. The interior will share design cues with the recently revealed Continental GT and will be simply beautiful. Volvo S60 This is the first Volvo car to be produced in the US in 63 years, and it is starting a new era in the company's history. As a standard, the S60 comes with a 2.0-liter four-cylinder T8, delivering 313 horses and an 87-horsepower electric motor. The system setup nets 472 pound-feet of torque and 400 horses combined. However, the Polestar trim features another T8, re-engineered by the brand's performance branch of the same name, that boosts combined power to 415 horses. It features a stylish exterior with Thor's Hammer's headlamps and a new rectangular grille, plus minimalistic interior with comfortable seats and loads of new tech, including Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, 4G connectivity, tablet-style infotainment and navigation.
Porsche Cayenne e Hybrid. This is a plug-in hybrid SUV that, like all Porsche cars, belongs to the luxury segment. Starting from $79,900, the car comes loaded with standard comfort and safety features, including dual zone climate control, 10-speaker sound system, super luxurious interior and the advanced infotainment. The 2019 model has the all-electric top speed of 83 mph and the range of 27 miles, and is equipped with a more powerful electric motor with 134 horses and a bigger battery than its predecessor. The plug-in's other engine, a 3.0-liter turbocharged V6, brings the total system output to 455 horses and 516 pound-feet of torque. Subaru Crosstrek Hybrid Fans of Subaru cars who have long been waiting for an electrified vehicle from this manufacturer should be jumping through the roof, as this automaker has recently confirmed the production of the first ever plug-in hybrid model for the 2019 in the body of a Subaru Crosstrek PHEV. At the moment, details specs are unknown, but so far we have learned that the electric tech will be sourced from Toyota and noticeably higher output is expected compared to the old 2.0-liter four-cylinder with 154 horses and 145 pound-feet of torque. We can also definitely expect the standard all-wheel drive. Since Crosstrack shares many traits with smaller and bigger Subarus produced today, we can hope for a rapid electrification of the whole lineup. Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid The heart of the Porsche 971 lineup Turbo SE Hybrid is a plug-in hybrid liftback available in three versions – standard, sport turismo, and a long wheelbase one called executive. Under its hood is a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 paired with an electric motor, all-wheel drive, and an 8-speed PDK. The total system output is 680 horses and 626 pound-feet of torque. However, its efficiency is rather questionable, with only 14 miles of electric range and 49 mpg. New Panamera body's architecture, chassis and wiring are specially engineered to achieve better balance and weight distribution in the gasoline electric models. Volvo V60 Station wagons have declining sale numbers, but family-friendly Volvo still expects to sell plenty of new models with a narrower competition. Their new introduction to the market is a smaller sibling of Volvo V90 that sits on the scalable product architecture platform and shares lots of exterior and interior design elements, from the front LED lights with Thor's hammer styling and concave barred grille to a similar-looking cabin with a vertically-oriented touchscreen. 
Unlike previous models, the new V60 will be offered with two plug-in hybrid powertrains, T6 with 253 horses and 258 pound-feet of torque, and the more powerful T8 with 303 horses and 295 pound-feet of torque respectively. If you're shopping for an electrified vehicle in 2019, would you go for a plug-in hybrid or a purely electric model? Are you concerned about the lack of charging stations and shorter ranges of pure EVs? Share with us in the comments below. We do want you to subscribe to our channel if you liked our format. Put a like under this video and watch another episode before you go. Links are on the screen. See you soon!